stream. I'm a minute early. Sometimes I've done this and I'm a minute late. <laughs> Hi guys, how's it going? Hope everyone's doing well. We're just going to wait a few minutes uh, while people get into this live stream. Thank you so much for joining everybody who has joined already. That's awesome. Almost time, six days was worth the wait. Thank you so much. As always, anybody who doesn't know, you can get me on Instagram and Twitter at the Aspie World. Um, floating about at the bottom of the screen there, you can see my, my name. So today in this video, I want to go through uh, help for parents of people on the autism spectrum and three tips that you definitely need that are going to help you uh, all the way through uh, anything else. Like just, it, this is going to be so awesome. And I'm just going to wait for, for, so a few people get the notification and then we'll get, we'll get started. Right then. Awesome, guys. This is amazing. Hey, everybody. Hey, how's it going? Hi, Alex. Juice, drop, dope. Elizabeth, Caitlin, Jamie, how's it going? Awesome. This is so good. Okay. How's everybody doing? Everybody ready? Everybody pumped? These are awesome. Awesome parents. Get ready, get psyched. You guys are gonna love this. It's gonna be awesome. Right, okay, let's get going. Um, okay, so today's video is all about help for autism parents, three secret tips, and there's a special kind of bonus thing right at the end, which we'll, we'll get into at the end of this stream. Um, it's not too long today, guys, about 20 minutes for this stream. It's gonna be awesome. And uh, I just absolutely love each and every one of you guys. So I've decided to sponsor my own video. So today's video is brought to you by my own merchandise. Now, this is the autism alert card, which I sell on my website. Um, and I've just had a crazy increase of these because during this current climate, this heightened kind of COVID stuff and everything else that's going on, it's nice to carry something around like this. So if you get in trouble with any authorities or if any authorities stop you, it's nice to, hey, Sarah Cunningham, how's it going? Thanks for buying all the merch. You're awesome. Uh, it's nice to have this card on you uh, just to kind of, uh, yeah, just, just to show authorities and stuff, If you know, in case police want to ask you questions and they think that you're being shifty or whatever it happened to me. So I'm just giving this out to you. So you can get it from theaspieworld.com forward slash shop. And that's what it looks like, the autism alert card. Cool. Okay, so we're going to get into this video. Basically, I wanted to do um, this live training. So I did some training before on like a live stream where I gave uh, hacks for living on the spectrum and people loved it. Everyone thought it was like super, super good. So I decided I'd come back with one based more towards kind of like parents and caregivers and people who are looking after people on the autism spectrum to see if, um, you know, they could get some value from this. And I do believe that everybody is going to get a lot of value from Sorry, my phone wasn't on airplane mode. <laughs> Everybody's going to get a lot of value from this. Um, so today we're breaking down with three simple but highly, highly effective tips. It's going to be so good. Awesome. Okay, so let's get into it. Woohoo, there I am. Check it out. Okay, guys, so this is the... Uh, this is the setup here for today. So this is um, help for, for autism um, parents and caregivers. Uh, these are the top three tips that you kind of need. So obviously we're doing the stream right now. You guys are amazing. And I want to kind of just give a shout out to anybody new who's here. Um, if you have a video, uh, I, I love each and every one of my viewers. You guys are amazing and make things like this possible. So it's my way of giving back to you guys and doing some training and stuff, which is super, super good. And if anybody can hear like a weird noise, my dog is sitting right next to me and he's being like super annoying. So that's just, that's dogs just grow into something rather amazing and I and I really enjoy it I love it uh, and I love everything I do I also have worked with people like MIT Google the EU Parliament like the National Autistic Society just a bunch of like really kind of awesome things which is super amazing and I'm so blessed to get the, the opportunity to work with these amazing companies and these amazing kind of charities to, to bring forth kind of change for people on the autism spectrum I'm also an international best-selling author with a book out in the United States and the United Kingdom bestseller in both those countries and it's out in three languages which is crazy and I'm also dyslexic so that kind of like I don't know I just get so pumped when I tell people this story um, I've also done public speaking I do public speaking kind of like as my uh, you know part of what I do is my my advocacy and I'm also an autism trainer and what I mean is I, I do training and stuff like that so that's kind of like um, uh, where, where it kind of comes from where it kind of you know what I'm doing here with all this stuff so that's kind of me and, and my background so I'm just going to um, move it down here a little bit and tell you a little bit about my story. This is a cool picture of me. This is me in a birthday party, right? So, um, you know, I'm just like you or many other people 
um, where, you know, all my life I've struggled with autism spectrum disorders and, and the, you know, the, the autism spectrum conditions and the issues that come with the disorder because I have a diagnosis of Asperger's syndrome, ADHD, OCD, and dyslexia. So all of those things kind of mashed together and, and you know, it, it was a struggle. It's a, a big struggle. I'm not saying that, um, you know, every day wasn't uh, was a struggle. I mean, most days were a struggle. Sometimes, you know, I, I didn't struggle because I managed to work around things. I managed to make hacks, um, life hacks that kept me kind of like, motivated on trying to overcome things because I'm kind of like anybody. Okay. You guys are going to know this and, and give me a heck yes in the chat. Autism is kind of like a problem solving brain. Now, if you have an autism spectrum disorder diagnosis, you'll know exactly what I'm about. You're always trying to problem solve. Right. And so for me, I saw my challenges as a problem. I wanted to kind of overcome and, and, and help solve. So these are real time life hacks that help me overcome the issues. And they're going to be so valuable to you. So if you're a parent or a caregiver or somebody who looks after someone on the spectrum, Super, super awesome. And uh, Jamie, that, that's awesome. Um, I'm with you there, buddy. These are going to help a lot. So I'm going to take a drink of my drink here because I don't want to kind of get a dry mouth whilst doing this. Yeah, you guys know exactly. Leo Murphy, Juice Dope. You know you know exactly what I'm doing, right? Yeah, heck yes. Heck yeah. Yep. You guys know the, you guys know the score. Awesome. Right. So let's get into it. So having a diagnosis is pretty awesome when you know you've been I, like, I struggled my entire life before i got my diagnosis and i got my diagnosis and it kind of made more sense but there was a huge misconception and the mis the misconception out there for parents and caregivers and anybody else is that you're defined by a diagnosis like people think that when you get the diagnosis of autism that defines you oh you're not going to be able to do this you're not going to be able to do that you know my kid is going to be this type of kid you know and it kind of it mindsets you it puts you in that frame of mind that goes okay you know this is what it is and that's the that's the protocol you know nothing is going to be anywhere other than this right and it's crazy because that misconception is, is almost like set in stone. You become your kid's biggest critics because you look to this as going, oh, they're not going to be able to do these things as, you know, typical kids, extra, extra, extra. And it's just, it's the biggest misconception. And the reason why it's a misconception is because that's nonsense. You know, you, you are not just a diagnosis. You are way much more than that. You, you're actually way more than that. And this is exactly why I'm doing this training. Sorry, my uh, got my uh, my my notes section on the side here, so I'm just uh, going through this as well. So, let's talk about like after diagnosis, what happens, right? These are the types of resources we have available. Okay, so the resources, a lovely picture of me there under a lamp. It looks, it was an old hairdryer. Now, the idea is that all of the current research available, there's two things wrong with it. Okay, one, it was written by people who are just uh, you know experts on, on autism and professionals on autism. They're not autistic people. And they were written ages ago. I mean, like ages ago. It's pretty much all, most of the main literature is like super, super old and it's outdated. Like I can't stress enough, like how much like, you know, the, the medical professionals and stuff, they, they're using dated, outdated resources to try and like treat diagnose, um, advise, support, help people on the autism spectrum. And it kind of really sucks. And it's and it sucks because, you know, we're looking at it and it's like 2020, yet we're still re reading research papers from like 1946, you know? And it's kind of like, okay, how do we overcome this? Well, I'm helping to do that right now. And this is partly what this, this whole thing is about. And so we're going to go over three um, main tips. Now I, I created these, like I spent literally everything I put on my channel and everything that I teach you guys is pretty much my entire life's work. And my life's work is out there because I want to help parents and autistic people and carers and autistic people. So everybody can get like an equal playing field to help and support people on the autism spectrum. And if it means supporting yourself, then that's super awesome too. <clears throat> so let's move on. These are the three tips. Okay. Here's coming up. So this is um, the tip number one is called unthrowable events, right? Unthrowable events. Like, Dan, I mean, what are you on about? What are you talking about? What the heck is an unthrowable event? Okay. And what I mean by this is, <clears throat> you know, one event can really upset the entire day. And what I mean by this is, like, you know, uh, well, let me let me go into it. Let me show you this. I had my first job. This is a, <laughs> this is a picture of me at MIT. I had my first job, and it was a desk job, um, and my first like big proper job. And I was assistant manager for a tech company, right? 
And I used to go to work and I'd sit at my desk every single day. And then, you know, for years and years, I, you know, I'd, I'd come uh, to, to, to the same desk for like two or three years. And I enjoyed what I was doing. I was sitting there and then like, I just did the same thing. You know, I sat at my desk, I did my thing, I did my work, right? Now the problem with this is that one day I came in and my boss has said to me, we're going to change the desk layout in this room and we're going to move offices to across the road. And I was like, whoa, 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 whoa. And then they just moved my desk. And then that set me off, off so much that I had a huge meltdown. I had to like go home. Uh, you know, I, I had to work from home for a bit. I had to like rehabilitate myself to come back into the office for a bit. And then I eventually left that job because of the the, the upset and, and, the, and the negativity attached to that job it was just too much for me to handle. And it kind of just, it was just, it was horrible, right? And that is just an ex example of how one event can upset the entire not just an entire day that was my entire like career in that field and i'm glad that now i'm not doing that but it was something that actually happened to me and um and, and th there are ways to overcome this right and we're going to go through this right now so this is tip number one the unthrowable uh, event so you know one event can definitely upset the entire day right so how do we stop this from happening and it's very interesting you stick to a consistent routine and create backup plans. Now, this is what we do. We have backup plans A, B, and C. Now, usually what happens is parents on the autism spectrum fall into this trap where they say, okay, my kid is, they're on the spectrum, uh, and we're going to the store, and I forgot their uh, fidget spinner, right? Kid has a huge meltdown. Parents are like, uh-oh. And then they have to deal with the meltdown there and then. And then they kind of just have this struggle. They struggle through that trip. They struggle through the fact that the kid's getting upset. They know that they're feeling bad because the kid is upset. They're feeling bad because the meltdown's happened and it could have been totally unavoidable if they remembered the uh, fidget spinner. And that was their plan. The plan was to put the fidget spinner in their, you know, in their bag, go to the store or wherever you're doing and, and, you know, everything would happen accordingly. But that's only having plan A. So when things like that happen, you need to have a backup plan, which is a plan B and a plan C, which means that you should have a fidget spinner in the car a fidget spinner in your bag and a fidget spinner in your child's bag. Now, what this does is it creates a, uh, a systematic fail safe, kind of like a safety net. And this is a very basic example of how this works, but this is incredible. Now, um, I, you know, for instance, I used to go to a sandwich bar to get sandwiches. And I used to say, what bread do you want your sandwich on? And I'd always get the same bread. And then one day I went there and then they didn't have the bread. And I freaked out because I was thinking, I just got really upset because I was on my way to just to do something else. And I just wanted to pick up something quick to eat and then I couldn't get my bread. And it was this whole thing. And then that whole thing like really set me off. So the next time I put in my mind that, okay, I have to, I researched the different breads that the sandwich shop had. And then I made myself two other resources that I could have if I didn't have uh, that, that bread there at the time, which made it easy because when I went there again and the same thing happened where they said, we don't have that bread, then I had a choice of another two bread. So in actual fact, I had a choice of three bread so that there's three fail safes, which is amazing. What would you do if all three plans fail? That's a very, very good question. Now, the, I will answer that, but a bit later on in this video, but it's a very good question. And there is, there are ways around doing that is more of a long-term um, buffer before that. But these are like three kind of like super tips because like typically the average person doesn't really fail on three things at once because you set up all of these before going. So when you're setting up all of these things, it can becomes a routine that you do, not something that your child does, if you know what I mean. So it's kind of like a routine that gets inbuilt to you. Like, oh, don't remember, we've got to place these three fail safes. It's kind of like how having three locks on your door, you know, one will fail and second one will fail, but you know, you'll always remember to put the three locks on the door. If that makes sense, I hope I'm making some kind of uh, <laughs> just as yet. Who's pumped right now? Who's loving this? I'm loving this live stream. I love doing these live streams. You who is excited for the rest of the tips? Um, uh, yep. Yeah, awesome. 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 Yeah. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much. I, I just love the feedback. The chat is just, it's the best thing, isn't it? It's the best feature. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. So, um, let's, you know, talking about like stores and stuff, let's move on to the next tip. So this one is the store experience right now, <laughs> the store experience. I mean, who, if you can relate to this, you know, exactly what I'm going to say. If you can relate to this, say, yo, Dan, me in the chat, say me, me, me in the chat, right? Because this is so funny. So go to the grocery store. Uh, you know, going to the grocery store or anything else for that matter, actually, you know, going to a mall, um, it, it's an opportunity to become overwhelmed and uh, have a meltdown for an autistic person, right? Very, very, very uh, common. And it comes from the pack, you know, it comes from the, the, 
the fact that grocery stores, malls, and anywhere else kind of like a big public spaces, they are rammed full of sensory overloads. Like, give me an example. Like, so basically, um, I remember an example when I went to the grocery store. This is a lo lovely picture of me <laughs> inside a, 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 a wholesaler's market uh, buying stuff for my parents uh, and, and kind of feeling overwhelmed. Uh, and the, the reason was because, you know, I went to I went to supermarket Tesco, what we have here in the UK, right? And it was the middle of the summer. So you walk in, um, uh, you know, I, I, I walk into the store and instantly there's music playing, right? There's music blasting. You can hear this music playing. And then, you know, the heat of the summer, the air con's broken. Like, oh, great. So I'm going in there. The AC is off. And, like, I, I'm, I'm kind of a bit under heat. There's music playing, which is taking up most of my occupied time. Like, you know, when you're focusing on something, people on the autism spectrum focus on one thing that, that is annoying them that they can really focus on to kind of stable themselves out. So I realize, I go, oh, there's noise coming. So I'm, I'm f fixed on the noise. I'm like, okay, well, that's the noise. And, and I get it's the noise. And I'm thinking about the noise. And I'm thinking about the noise. And that's the thing that's really bugging me. But then all of a sudden, like music noise, I'm talking about playing from the stereo. Then all of a sudden, a bunch of like holiday makers come in and their kids are running over and they're screaming, right? And I'm like, oh my goodness. And then the screaming going on and the screaming going on. And then um, there was, we went down the bread aisle and I got a waft of like bread in the deli counter, which was smells I didn't really like. And then I got crazy out of control. And then like, I just felt complete shutdown. Then that went to a meltdown as I got home. And it was not a good experience because the store experience can be overwhelming like that was that was my uh, my my experience with it and it was my experience with it all the way up until like um I pretty much uh, was able to 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 figure out how to overcome this. So the store experience. So uh, there there is a way to overcome this, you know. Like, uh, but there there is a way. So you know, going to the grocery store is something of a, a, an opportunity to be overwhelmed, as we, we just spoke about, right? And uh, a meltdown can happen for an autistic person. But there is a way that you can overcome uh, uh, this. And basically, uh, it's creating a routine before and after the trip right it's it's creating normality between chaos that this is kind of the idea here what i mean by this is if you do something and i'm going to strip it down really really basic okay so say your kid loves minecraft right you you get them to play minecraft you hype them up and you get them to play minecraft before going to the store right and then you um you, you, you get into play Minecraft, you get really comfortable. Then you say, right, we're going to go to the store next. And they understand that. And they're using the now next cards and whatever. And then you get in the car, you go to the grocery store. And then you say to them, hey, look, we're going to go to the grocery store. We're going to go through this. But when we get home, we're going to be doing more Minecraft. And you get them focused on that. Because what you're trying to do is, is pull the focus away from the things that are not that are negative to things that are positive so it's kind of like a positive experience you go into a bit of a chaotic experience but focusing on the positive and then you go back to the positive it's kind of like um you know you it's kind of like you enjoy being at home and then you go to work which sucks a bit and because you know nobody likes a job that's why you pay you to do it right and then you go home from work and you enjoy your time at home it's kind of like that so this is the idea of creating two pieces of normality between the chaos. Because if you sandwich chaos between two pieces of normality, it lessens the impact. Imagine a kid going to the grocery store and they'd have like a grumpy morning, and then they go to the grocery store. They have a you know they're not enjoying the grocery store, and that that's difficult. And then they come home and then they just melt down because they've not prepared anything, you've not set anything up, you've not catered for that that debrief, if you like, right? That is what the store experience tip is all about. So you create these like uh, each side of chaos you create these these good uh, good environments and what happens is the more you do this the more used to the fact that they prepare themselves for the chaotic part but then they actually create this this sense of um well i know it's good before going and it's good after going so i don't mind because i'm so used to, you know they're gonna have a good time each side it's kind of like a it's like a bargaining it's a barter right so that is is the store tip. So is everyone having a good time right now, right? We've got one major tip left, and we're going to get into something kind of really interesting at the end of this, and uh, I'm super, super pumped for that. Can everyone say, heck yeah, I'm pumped? Give me a heck yes, I'm pumped in the chat. I want you guys to know that you're, like, stoked to do this, man. I'm so stoked. Like, I, I'm yeah, I'm so stoked. So, um, yeah, um, yes, this stream will be uh, be uploaded again, so don't worry about it. So um, I'm super 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 excited to share the next tip with you and then get on with the rest of like you know what we're doing in this live stream right at the end we're going to talk about something really awesome and great opportunity for everybody who's here right now um yeah yep yep all these yaps coming in love it heck yeah thanks krista 
Chris is awesome. Chris is one of my uh, one of my staff members. She's amazing. Um, so yeah, you're pumped. Yeah, so I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Okay, <clears throat> so let's move on. And I just wanted to do this right. You are doing amazing, and that's a fact. You know, nobody takes the time, or hardly anybody takes the time to congratulate the parents and the caregivers and the people who are who are caring for and guardians of people on the autism spectrum because everyone's so focused on the person who's on the spectrum because you know as they should be because that person needs support and help they never take time and we always forget and we always put it to the side to say hey thanks mom and dad thanks you know grandpa grandma caregiver uncle aunt you're doing an amazing job thank you so much and so if no one's going to say it to you i'm going to say it to you dan tells you you're amazing you're doing an amazing job thank you so much and i appreciate you like so much like this is why i'm doing this because you're amazing so thank you so much see it's awesome it's a fact you are amazing it's a fact yeah if you weren't amazing you wouldn't be here watching this live stream right now would you let's put it that way okay this is hack or tip number three create the environment i wonder what this means right so let me put it in perspective creating the environment why don't we uh why don't we get on to the uh, the next slide Ooh, these are lovely pictures these are pictures i all took on my iphone by the way guys um so <laughs> i know you'd be like dan we're doing crazy right so environment is everything to uh, autistic people and uh environment is the absolute um the bottom line of realizing uh the, the the state of affairs so what i mean let me break this down let me break it down okay put it this way if you were to take a push bike, you know, a pedal bike, you've got two wheels, pedals and a chain and handlebars, you would take that bike and then you go down to the beach and you plonk the bike on the beach and you say pedal and you'd be pedaling like heck and you'd be going for it and you'd be struggling and like, you know, you would not be getting anywhere fast. Why? Simple. The environment for the bike is not sand. It's not built for sand. If you take that same bicycle and then you go to a park where it's got lovely tarmac, you know, the asphalt's all nice and soft and smooth, you put the bike on it and you say pedal, you can pedal with ease and go very fast, very quickly all around the, the, the park, right? Amazing. It's kind of like when you think about environments, you don't think about is this thing, you know, is, is the thing that I'm using equipped for the environment or is the environment equipped for the thing I'm using? And in the case of people on the autism spectrum, you say to yourself, is this environment equipped for someone on the autism spectrum? But we forget that. We just take things at face value. We take things at like, that's what, what it is. You know, every, it, it, your environment is exactly the same as this environment with, with the bicycle. Like this is actually a picture of me. This is my this is my feet right here. Um, and this is my feet and this is my living room and this is bonfire night and I'm just relaxing, right? And we need to relax more. We need to have calm environments. And then this is, the, the, all these pictures are taken um, uh, well, two of them taken outside my home and one of them taken when I was on the road to do a thing. So create the environment. Tip one, environment is everything, right? When we take a push bike, I've given you this example. Um, and once you realize that everything becomes more clear. So what you need to do your environment for an autistic person, exactly the same as the scenario gave with the bike. You need to create an environment in which is pleasing, accommodating for the person on the autism spectrum. Now this could be creating a nook in your living room where you put, um, like a, a small kind of tent up in the small, like a small den, but you make it sensory pleasing. You create a, uh, a part of the, uh, the bedroom that is completely, uh, non chaotic. Like a lot of people think like, yeah, we're going to have like clowns and like stars and stuff on, on in the bedroom and loads of colors and bright stuff that's fun for kids yes it's also very triggering for people in the autism spectrum you need a calm environment you need a muted tone environment you need a very soft environment so that you can actually have a place where your child can feel calm feel relaxed and and kind of uh, debrief themselves. So let's put it this way. Imagine you have friends over for dinner and you're all around the dinner table, but then suddenly the texture of the food isn't good for your kid. And then your kid starts having this kind of like meltdown. And, um, this then causes a big issue. Now, if they went to the room and they're, they're, they're kind of getting triggered by all of these, um, you know, bizarre colors and lights and toys and stuff everywhere in the room, they're not going to calm down. What they need is soft, squidgy, sensory, um, warm, calming environments, relaxing tones, that is creating an environment that works uh, uh, for, for everybody, everybody on the autism spectrum. And you're going to get so much from it. Parents are going to get so much from it. So let's move on. That was tip number three. So all the tips are done. Let's do a quick recap. So uh, recapping this. So 
the tip number one was to stick to a consistent routine and create backup plans. Remember, three backup plans is like a fail safe. Tip number two was to create a routine before and after the store trip to create normality between chaos. This is a very, very effective tip, and I actually do this every single time. Um, and the last tip here was to create an environment which is pleasing and accommodating for the person on the autism spectrum. This could be applied to office environments for people on the spectrum. I know of like offices that create like more calming cubicles for people who are going to to you know be there. So I have a question for everybody, or I have a few questions actually for everyone watching this, right? Do you want to stop meltdowns before they happen? Would you like to uh, excel at the professional life, you know, with the person on the autism spectrum? Would you like the person to communicate at their best level, uh, know what to do in every situation, excel with friendships, take control of every day and create routines that build themselves, right? Ask yourself this question. Do you want that? Do you, would you like this for your kids, right? I mean, this is a no brainer. Okay. Would you like all of these to be um, obtainable? Would you like to learn all of this? Right. And 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 it's a good question. You know, it's, it's a good question. Would you, would you like to do that? You know, and all of those things take a lot of resources, a lot of time, a lot of effort, blood, sweat, and tears to, to kind of like conjure up, if you will, uh, to, to understand, to, to, to learn. Um, but there is a very, very simple solution. Let me know, guys, in the chat. Do, would you like all those things? Would you like to learn all those things? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's it's kind of like, it, it's a no-brainer, right? And there's a very, very simple solution to this. Yeah, yeah, of course. See, everyone, no-brainer, no-brainer. I get it. And I get you and I feel you. I told you, I'm your biggest support. I'm your biggest fan. I'm like, guys, like, I'm here for you, right? And this is something I've been working on for a while, so I'm going to ex explain what it is. So there's a very simple solution. You've got two options in things in life that you need to kind of achieve, like that big list I just told you about. You have option number one, where you can go out alone and you can try and figure these things out and then you could hit brick walls and then trial and error, trial and error. Maybe eventually you'll do it, but it might take you kind of like, I don't know, years and months, but that's no good when you've got like these kids that need attention and you need it right then and there. You only need to spend, you know, you've got like maybe two or three hours to spend and you need it like that, right? Well, there's a second uh, uh, option where number two, you can have guided instruction. You can have somebody like me teaching you every step of the way, you know, and having access to uh, to an open forum with me to ask me questions on these exact exact things. Which one would you choose? Let me know. Would you pick number well, you know one, or would you pick number two? You know, are you, which one? Let me know. One or two in the um, in the chat. Which one? One or two? Come on. I mean, it's a, it's a very simple solution. Which one would you guys pick? Let me know. I'm just taking a drink of my ice cold water here because it's like a bazillion degrees outside. It's so hot here. Yeah. So <clears throat> option number two, obviously, is the boy. Option number two is a no-brainer. I mean, yeah, we're just, we're just, you know, and, and that's the thing. I mean, if you, you're thinking logically about it, you want to always cut down the, the amount of time you're gonna like spend. You want you want to your time is valuable, right? you know, money uh, is something because people always compare money and time. Like money, you can find money anyway. You can work this job, do this job, sell this thing. That's fine. Time, you can never get time back. Time is super precious, super valuable. So the good news is, guys, I've done all the work for you. The fast and effective approach. Now, who's excited to know what I'm talking about here right now? Let me know. I need, I need a heck yes, Dan. Show me what you got. Show me what you got. I need you to show me what you got. Dan, put it in the, put it in the chat. Let me know right now if you want me to know what is it? What is the work that I've done for you? How is it fast and effective approach? What am I going to do? How do I get access to this, Dan? What am I? What are you talking about? Let me know. Let me know. Let me know. This is awesome. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Yeah, yeah. Heck yes, Dan. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you guys are amazing. Oh, I love. This is what I love about live streams. You guys are amazing. Okay. Yeah. Right. So. Guys, nobody, nobody cry just yet. I'm going to show you something. Ignore the fact that it says total value there. That is absolutely not what this is. This is just showing you the value of something. This is not showing you the price of something. Coping Secrets is a course, a masterclass, a six-module masterclass that I created specifically for everybody who's watching this right now, honestly, and I mean it my my in my heart. So Coping Secrets, module one is how to have a solid routine that builds itself. Module two is a social emotional hacks to achieving tasks. Number three is the empowerment board, right? Number four is how to communicate to others, your loved ones, specific needs, right? 
Um, and then number five is the ultimate confidence strategy for coping success. Obviously, very, very important. And number six is how to effectively express emotions and show your child that they are loved without sending them into uh, a sensory overload, right? Very, very interesting. Also, this comes with uh, bonus content, which is the Now and Next Ultimate Coping uh, Plan mini course. There's a mini course attached to this, which is very, very amazing because this is a course on its own. This is just because you're on the live stream right now watching this with me. Uh, you can get access to this right now. The Coping Cough private group, which is basically a Facebook group where everybody who's uh, on, taking the course or on the course can talk and exchange ideas, which is... <laughs> I mean, that's priceless. And then the, the superhero toolbox, which is, again, in itself, just amazing. So the value of all of these course, this course, when it launches, right, when I, when I put this out onto my site as a product, this is going to be 900 pounds, which is like $1,125, right, which is super interesting. Now, that is only the value of the course. Let me show, I'm going to show you, before I tell you how to get access to this course, right, I want to show you uh, what some people who've already taken it, because I, I did this course, um, I, you know, I gave people, I did, I ran this course first, and people like Mark Quint said, you know, amazing course guys are packed full of helpful and useful strategies, you know, coping tools, advice. I mean, this guy is awesome. Um, he, he took the course, and he was so, he was like the world's perfect student. And um, does it work with someone that is on the spectrum? Yes, it does. Um, you know, just want to say thank you. Your videos helped taught me. These people who've taken the course, I mean, these guys are just amazing. These are living proof that the stuff that I do really works. And I want to do this because I want to help you, right? And I was thinking to myself, you know, now we've got a bit of time, you know, the whole lockdown stuff is going on and you want to, to be able to like give that time to, to, to not have to spend years researching stuff that you can actively, effectively, you know, use and imp implement with your life and your, your children's life right now. So, I am going to give you guys an exceptional deal right now. Okay, guys, stay with me here. Okay. This course is just £197, which is actually $247, but only for the next 48 hours. This is exclusively just for you guys. Okay. And I know um, you guys, this, you remember, this is going to be £900. It's going to be $1,000 when this releases on my website. But right now, this is actually only just for you. And it's $197, but it's only that price for the next 48 hours. And then after 48 hours, um, it, it actually goes up, the price goes up because I'm trying to do my best to give you guys the best deal because I want you guys to be able to have access to something that you uh, could definitely you know, benefit from, right? Um, and so what do you do next? How, you know, all the work's done for you, basically. All you have to do is go to the aspieworld.com and then forward slash uh, coping secrets. Um, Karen, thank you so much. That's amazing. They will be shipped out next week. Um, and you know, it's 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 basically everything um, that we've been talking about here. How would you go more in depth? How would you go more in detail? How would you get access to more of the um, you know more of the things I'm saying more in depth, right? Theaspworld.com forward slash coping secrets, guys. This is an amazing deal, and you might be like, okay, well, you know, it's a lot of money, but you got to think at the end of the day. There's two things I want to say here. One is that it's only 197 pounds at the moment, right? Which is going to go up to 900 pounds. I mean, look at all that. You've got six modules, right? And you've got those three bonuses. You're only getting three bonuses because you're on the live stream right now. When this thing launches, those bonuses won't be available, right? And there's a, there's, a, there's a whole new a, the now and next cost that that is only available because you're on this live stream, right? But because you are here and, and you're doing all this, um, you know, let's let's just like think about it. I mean, if anyone, you know, somebody said like, you know, maybe it's a lot of money, but then again, I mean, what is your time worth? What is your 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 kid or your life kind of like? How does that 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 you know work in, in comparison? You know, if you're comparing time, like I said, time versus money, you know, you can sell something and you can make more money. You can work an extra shift and get more money, but time is something you can never get back. You can never get time back. So this is all the work done for you. You know, all you have to do is, you know, sign up. You can access this 24 seven. And the thing is when you, when you sign up and you buy this course online, you can always go back in. It's not like you watch it once and it disappears. You've got to log in on the website on my website and you can go and watch it any single time you want. Um, and it's just, it's just awesome. So, um, this is the, uh, the aspworld.com forward slash coping secrets and you can get that. So, um, how do you go from 1000 to 200? How, what? I don't understand. So if you go to this website right now, you can close this. So guys, this course is made for you. It's designed for you. It's only available for the next 20, oh, sorry. It's only next available for the next 48 hours. You got, you've got literally 48 hours to get this. Um, and I highly recommend you getting it right now. And this is another thing, right? If you buy this course, you can email me anytime. Uh, and, and then basically, um, 
sorry, somebody's got a question. If you if if you're on a phone, take a picture of the website instead of trying to write it down. Yeah, definitely. So this is the website, theaspyworld.com forward slash coping secrets. Remember, guys, this is a 48-hour window on this bad boy. Um, and and you actually can email me anytime and say, Dan, I'm, I'm doing the course, and I want uh, specific information on this. I will email you back instantly. I will. <laughs> it's not like I'm going to leave you in the dark if you've got questions on, like, you know, specifics on the course. I mean, I would just literally straight away just, uh, just yeah, message you back straight away and be like, Dude, like, don't worry about it. Um, so this course also is available. Um, it can be taken by people who are on the autism spectrum as well. So people who are on the autism spectrum can actually take this course and uh, it, it works for them. Um, it's almost specifically designed for people who are care taking care of parents of people on the autism spectrum. Uh, and uh, how do you go from a thousand to two hundred dollars? Uh, pretty simple. Um, I wanted to do a discount because I did a live stream. You guys are on here right now, so you know. As I said, the, this course, the value of the course, that's the that's the entire value of of a uh, you know a thousand a thousand uh, over a thousand bucks for this course, right? And um, the actual course is available to you guys right now for 247 because you're on the live stream with me right now you're taking your time out your day to learn stuff about you know how to do the best for your kids and i'm giving you another uh, a boost an option a super boost to, to kind of go up there and get something better so yeah cool um uh shelly van um aspirin uh, thank you so much for that um you can um yeah you, you can mull it over like i said it's only it's only available for eight hours, so jump on this if you really want to do it. Like I said, how how much, you know, how valuable is is this to your kids? You know, are your kids worth it at the end of the day? Uh, are, are you gonna get value from this? A hundred percent. You you know it. Look, I mean, if we just look at the uh, the people who've already uh, expressed how much they they love the course, you know, this is just a short snapshot, uh, and even on the site, there's there's more. So. Um, if you can't do the course, you do a live stream meltdown squeeze. I am doing more live streams very, very soon, and there will be more. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is just super, super awesome. So guys, this is what you need to do next. You need to go to theaspyworld.com forward slash coping secrets. All of the course now, you have 48 hours to get it at this price. And I really want you guys to, to take this course because it just, it's just like, it just improves people so much. Like it's been, it's been proven you know, to, to actually improve uh, conditions, actually improve people um, having issues at home with 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 the you know the autism spectrum condition. Because at the end of the day, we all have issues. You know, like I said in the beginning, of this we all have issues, and and that's absolutely fine. So, guys, is there any more questions about this course before I call it a day? Have you done a video about ABA therapy? No, but I am having one very very soon. I'm doing an extensive video. I can't lay there under it like that. I am extremely violent in a meltdown. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Yeah, no, you're more than welcome, guys. This is absolutely amazing. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, this has been absolutely fantastic. I love doing those live streams, and I love offering deals to you guys. Remember, this is only 48 hours. I'm super pumped. I'm super pumped for you guys to take the course. Um, it's 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 just going to be so good. All right. Awesome. Remember, guys, it's theaspyworld.com forward slash coping secrets. You guys are awesome. Let's, uh, okay, <laughs> my dog. I have to wear my, oh, goodness me, my dog is being so silly. Right. This isn't a question about the cause, the, but, but why are you so amazing? <laughs> I'm not, I'm not amazing. Thank you so much. You guys are amazing. I told you this already. You guys are amazing. Um, it's absolutely fantastic that you've taken your time to, to do this today with me. And uh, yeah, it's just, it's just amazing. So please, um, Check out, check out the course. Uh, let me know. Go to that link, theaspyworld.com forward slash coping secrets. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be amazing. Parent of two on the spectrum and grandson on the spectrum to live with me. I suspect that having this program for me, ADHD, will be good too. It will actually, um, Samala. Um, it, it, if you, yes. It, it, it is true very very much so um and i can't i can't stress it enough guys this is a super super cheap course right now it, the value like 197 pounds like 240 dollars you know to get that amount of uh training from me directly you know coping secrets look the six modules how to have a solid routine it builds itself social and emotional hacks to achieving tasks uh the employer the empowerment aboard uh how to communicate to others your loved ones specific needs the ultimate confidence strategy coping success and how to effectively express emotion and show your child that they loved without sending them to a meltdown plus you get the 
Now, next ultimate uh, coping plan mini course, you get the coping co co-op group, and then you get the superhero toolbox, which is just is, that's just amazing. That one is that's basically showing you guys how you can um, pick the right fidget gadgets and stuff, um, and uh, and and the 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 right for your for your kid without actually spending loads of money and trying ones out. This is exactly how to get the best one and absolutely own it. Um, so again, guys, this thing is just. 197 pounds or 247 dollars which is ridiculously cheap right now for, for what we're doing and i am going to put back on the screen the website you need to go to so without further ado guys you've been amazing thank you so much for watching tuning in for this live stream and i hope to see you on the course again if you have any questions about it message me dm me it's gonna be amazing uh i haven't asked my son postgrad degree in south africa his varsity does not understand autism i know that's there's a difficulty uh, a lot of this course actually covers what i just said uh it, you know those, those things cover actually being in like university and schooling and stuff like that so it will definitely help um how do i make my child not bored um, there's actually it's funny i actually cover most of that in this course as well this course is kind of like an all-rounder it kind of goes through everything that you'll need um and for 197 pounds or 247 dollars this thing's a steal i think it's a steal guys so snap it up 48 hours you know what to do um i'm there i'm there with you you can email me any single time all right guys i gotta go you guys have been amazing thanks so much awesome guys all right peace